Okay, here we go uh, with Top Deck King or Teddy K doing another Scuzzle Moon and Draft. Let's have a look at this pack. Pretty good pack. Got the old Tempered Steel. Not too bad to get that first pack, first pick. You can build around it. Mutation class, very, very good. Tumble Magnet. Um, Both Existence, very good. So, hmm, interesting, interesting. Like I said, I'm not totally familiar with these sets, so probably make a few little mistakes, but that's what we're doing this for. So, I actually think it's probably between Revoke Existence and Tempered Steel. I actually kind of like Tempered Steel here. It's a, it's a fun card. And I think it can actually blow out a lot of games if you can pick up a lot of like minions as well. They can actually become attacking creatures, stuff like that. Obviously, Revoke Existence is removal, but I think we'll take this Tempered Steel and see where we go. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, we've got the old Forge Master. I think you know, someone will find a way to break in standard, I'm sure. Um, got the old Trinket Mage. Might, might be actually alright if we can pick up some like Memnites and stuff like that. Got the old Lidmere. Um, Origin Spellbomb. Might be actually the pick here. Um, yeah, there's not too much else. A few cards. So I think it's probably between the Mia and the Spell Bomb. I think what we'll do, we'll probably take the Spell Bomb. It gives us an artifact creature and helps us draw a card. So it goes got a bit of synergy with the Tempered Steel. Yeah, I think that seems like the pick to me. Uh, oh, wow. So I think Boulder Lands. Probably be taking that. I guess that's a pretty big blue signal. Blue is probably one of the worst colours in Scars of Mirrodin, I believe, so that's not surprising. Not too much else in this pack. A spell bomb, metal life staff, wallet replica, one of the better replicas, sign of blood on a stick, white spell bomb, um, yeah, the rest is pretty average, so yeah, we'll just slam this hole to the end. Oh, well, talk about one of the bits of Knights, so uh, there's one there. It's Honourable Tide, yeah, not that great. Probably in the wrong colour, really. If that was like in green or black, that'd probably be pretty good. Um, apart from that, yeah, not much else to talk about here. Probably going to take this night, but yeah. Carapus Lodge is pretty good in the Metalcraft deck, obviously. But yeah, apart from that, not much else to say, so we'll take this night. Got another Mia in our Pella, which is pretty good. Got the Glintork Idol, very good card. Drake is pretty good, but I don't think we're going to be. Well, we might be. We might be middle craft. Yeah, yeah, we probably will be. But that's probably not too bad. But Glintork Idol is very good. It's very hard to get rid of because I have to have an instant speed removal spell for it. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's pretty good. It goes well with our Tempered Steel. Comes with the Full Flyer. Take that. No drawing clock. Not very good. Mm -hmm. I come here. It's pretty good for the effect deck. Plague Stinger is probably one of the best um, effect cards going around. With the evasion on it. But don't mind this guy. Gives you a tempo play. And like I said, we'll probably be fairly metal crafty. So let's grab this guy. Lots of infect stuff going around in as always. Um, not much here. Couple on gorge. Probably worth a ticket. Or, you know, I might even use it for some like destructive decks. Um, yeah, well, I think we'll just be a rare grabber. I think if that wasn't in here, we'll probably just hate a card, so why not hate a rare card that might be worth a ticket? Wow. Another, another card that's probably worth a couple of tickets. Um, well, there's not much else here for us. We could probably take Star of Battles, not bad. Um, if we were, you know, like at a GP or something, we'd probably take have a Star of Battle. But, yeah, you know, I'm not a GP player that much. I've only played in one. So, I'm going to take the card that might be worth a ticket. Okay, well, Little Smith came back.
pretty happy to see that. So, yeah, that's a pretty easy pick. Nothing else in this pack, really. Well, the Tangle Cord's actually not too bad. But, yeah, we'll take this Riddle Smith. <laughs> not surprised that came back. Um, these guys are actually pretty good. I'm in the Metalcraft deck. Got a fairly decent body on them. And, um, yeah, can gain you some life and suck some life out of them. Um, this guy's actually pretty good too. This is probably the card we'll take. So, we'll take this guy. That means white might be actually a little bit open, which isn't too bad. We haven't seen a great deal of it. Just, par uh, just past a revoke existence. That was about it, I think, that I can think of. Powerful Conjury, yep, not a good card. Steady Progress, not too bad. So, um, yeah, I think we'll just take. Pretty sure that's not going to be worth anything. Um, yeah. I guess we'll just take Steady Progress. Probably won't play it. Um, yeah, Necrogen Sense is okay. Yep, white looks possibly open. I didn't get many artifacts in this first pack. I'm not going to play that. I'm probably not going to play that. Hopefully, I don't have to play that. So, 10 playables with not many artifacts, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another counterfeit steam. In the same pack as an arrest. Uh, holy crap. Well, I know for a fact this guy isn't worth anything, but he is a bit of a bomb. We really didn't get a lot of artifacts, so maybe this tempered steel isn't gonna isn't gonna get the job done after all. Uh, tough call between the counterfeit demon and the arrest, because obviously this is the best common in the set. Well, I think it is anyway. Maybe up for debate. Um. Uh, dear, 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 dear me. We probably do have a white drafter to our right, so. We could probably, you might be able to, you might be seeing a lot of coming back. Um, um, I think I will take, um, I'm going to take the counterfeit statement. I think he's just too good not to take. Could be wrong, I don't know. Right, what do we got here? Mere Smith, pretty good. Actually very good. Um, got Silver Replica is a pretty good card. Shatter, another good card. Wow, a lot of good cards in this pack. Another mirror on our colour. Uh, really would have liked to have got this Tempest still happening, but we just keep past, get past bloody good colour cards. Oh uh, well, you can't really not take it. So, I'm running pack two, so... Hopefully some more artifacts will cut start coming around, so... This guy works really good if we can get this Tempest still happening, so... Smith, it is. Well, and I'm here galvanizing. Galvanize our Mir Smith. That seems like a pretty good play. More Mir's coming around. Yep, so I think this Mir galvanizer seems to be the right, right um, card to take. Seems pretty obvious, I think. Hopefully, we get more Mir's. So, Mir galvanizer it is. Well, that's the juggernaut. Very good. Alright, this Tempered Steel play might be actually coming together a little better. Well, another Tumble Magnet. We did hide a um, Steady Progress. Um, I think it's between Dark Steel Juggernaut, Tumble Magnet. Like, Rustic is actually pretty good too. Um, Perilous Mirror is also quite good. There's a lot of cards in this pack. Um, um, yeah, tough pick. I think, I think we'll take the Juggernaut. We seem to have a few artifacts coming around. We've got this guy now, and even if we've only got him and Tempered Steel out, he's a 3-3, so it seems pretty good. So, yep, Dark Steel Juggernaut is. Alright, what have we got here? Um, wow, wow, very late after. Wow. 
Yeah, that's that should have been gone a long time ago. I was sort of leaning towards just leaded mirror. So I saw Arc Trail. That's even maybe even splashable. I don't know, but I think you can't really let that go by. That would wreck us in because like I said, we're trying to trying to get mirrors and stuff like that going, so this card would be pretty bad against us. And we'll probably see another mirror come by. So we'll take this up trail. Wow. The Mere Propagator is actually a pretty cool card for us. Things seem to be working out pretty good so far. I was a bit worried, but things are looking up. Um, not much else to say here. Train is pretty good if you can you've already got a few artifacts and equipments, I should say. To bump up his power, but yeah, not much else in this pack, so I'll have the Propagator. Right, what have we got here? Um, Tortoise Shield. Helps us build up our artifact count a bit. Mm, not too much. Synchronate's not too bad. Another Plague Stinger. Replica's pretty good. But I think we'll just take this shield to help with our artifact count. Right. Not much here. Plane Shell's not too bad. We'll stick a Count Effects Demon under it if we're lucky. Something, maybe even the Dux to Juggernaut. Plus it helps with the artifact count. So, yep, we'll take that. Alright, not much here. Probably just take this Acolyte. Might get played, not really sure right now. But it's not too bad if we got a lot of these artifacts happening. Another clone, another clone shell. Um, Scrap Diver Serpent is okay. But yeah, I think it's too much mana. Um, we'll just keep taking these clone shells. Uh, nothing here. Let's take a curve one here. Not much here as well. Let's just take this card. Yeah. I'll take a distraction. Alright, uh, what do we got here? So we can, we're probably, we're definitely playing white, but we can, hopefully we get some more artifacts. After some mirrors, we've been saying we want mirrors, and we haven't got any. Let's see what happens with this, this last pack. Symbol and Sandville is not good. Not good at all. It actually lacks very good. Helps us out a lot. Um, yeah, this is a pretty bag pack. Um, Pink Spellbomb, I guess, is okay. Disperse is okay. But, yeah, not much here at all. So, I think the Dark Steel Axe is the easy pick here. And so, that helps us with our artifact count. So, we'll take that. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I guess we're doing mirrors. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, Foil Cerebral Option. Oh, that cat is just such a bomb. Another clone shell, which we're not making. Already got two. Got a shatter. Yeah, target me, can't be good. yeah that, that seems pretty good for us. We've got, no, we've got the galvanizer and the propagator. So, you know, this card is probably the pick in general because it's just, it's just craziness. Just some whiteboards. Shatter is removal, but, well, we're going on the mere path. So, here we go. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, we've got non color mirror, finally. That's in a pack that we can actually be able to take it. Another mirror. Sun chasers are pretty good. But, yeah, we're doing the, we're doing the mirror trick here, so... I think we'll, we'll just take this gold mirror and move along. Well, nice little glimmer point stack. Well, jeez, we could have had a million double magnets. Mm. Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, glimmer point stack seems to be the, the pretty easy pick here. There's not much else in here. Double magnets is probably the second best card. But yeah, glimmer point stack and just 